Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solution. In this demonstration, I'll go through and explore the Office 365 navigation bar. This is the part I'm talking about, and this is the part I'm going to go through. If we start from the left, we have the app launcher or the start menu of Office 365. The app launcher contains all of your apps. And as you see, you can get more apps down there. You can see the new ones and you can see a list of all your apps and you can also search for your apps. And the most prominent ones here are, of course, your regular Office 365 mainstays, such as Mail, Calendar, People, Yammer, and of course, SharePoint, we have Planner, we have all the Office apps down here, and we have the Video Portal, we have Delve, Sway, and Power Apps down there also. And if you are an admin of your Office 365 at the bottom here, you also have the admin link. So that's the apps that you have access to. Then this button, if you go into, let's say, let's go into Mail, and I'll just show you the next button here, what that does. Yeah, but if you click on this one, you get back to where I started, the Office 365 landing page. Under here, under the notifications, further up here, you get notifications about new emails, new chat messages, and some other things. But the most common thing is, of course, the emails that come up there. Then we have the settings, the gearbox here. If you're running Internet Explorer, that gearbox is not to be confused with the gearbox that's up here, because that, of course, is the gearbox for Internet Explorer, and this is the gearbox for Office 365, or the context you're in, because this changes. The options that you get under the gearbox changes. So if you're in SharePoint, you get the list and library settings, you get the site settings, stuff like that under the gearbox here. So this is an important button that shows a lot of functionality. But now I'm in the Office 365 landing page, and you get the settings for that. So my settings for Office 365, I can change the theme. I can set your start page. So this is my start page now. Let's see what options there are there. So when I click on this Office 365, when I log in to office.com, I get the Office 365 homepage. I can get the admin center. So these are the different options that I can uh, go into there. So for many people, the mail might be the most important thing. But I'm just going to cancel that. The themes is just different colors. That only affects you. It doesn't affect the rest of the organization, even if you are an admin. You can set which notifications you want, and those are the ones I mentioned here. So you see the reminders and new mail. Those are the different. So I'll cancel that for now. The English and the time zone is, of course, important things to set. You're going to get a notification when you start Office 365 if you haven't set that. Usually that's set from inside Outlook. And then you have links to your app settings. So the Office 365, Mail, Calendar, People, and Yammer. The Office 365 gets mostly the same kind of settings, really, but in another UI. And so I have my theme again there, my start page. Those are the same thing that I just showed you up here. But you also have links to more settings. And let's show the other ones here. These three, mail, calendar, and people, those are Outlook settings. Different parts of Outlook. This one is very important, the install status, where you can see how many Office apps you have installed. You can also deactivate that. It's an important feature. The different permissions that you have for your apps, security and privacy, change your password. That's an important part, of course. Contact preferences things like that, how Microsoft can contact you, your subscription, what um, licenses you, you have as a user. And then you have the, the important personal info. And here I can also change my picture, my account. That's a bit of a landing page for my account. Anyhow, that's the gearbox and what that does. And uh, as I mentioned before, that does change depending on where you are in Office 365. Some links to help are over here. And then finally, you have your own button there where you can sign out. You can go to the My Account page, the one I'm showing to the left here. I can also go to My Profile. That will take you to the Delve page that is your public portal for what other people see about you. So you should, of course, make this relevant to say what you want other people to see when they you know, explore you. It can be very important, of course. And here you also see your latest documents, but that's, of course, Delve functionality 
and um, subject for another demonstration. That concludes my demo about the Office 365 navigation bar. Thank you for watching.